Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that facilitates the creation and sharing of document containing like code, equations, visualization, and narrative text. And in order to install on your Windows 11, bring up any of your browser. And here you have to search for Anaconda. You will be getting this website here, anaconda.org. You need to click on it. Then on the right hand top, you will get download Anaconda. Click on it. And here on the right hand side, below the submit, it says skip registration. So we don't have to go with any registration. So click on it. Then it will give you the installer, download installer for Windows. So we have to download for Windows. So I will click on it. And click on 64 bit graphical installer. So the downloading of this installer will be quickly started and it's around 914 MB. So depending on your internet connection, it may take some time. So you need to wait until the downloading has been completed. And after that, the installation is very simple. All right. So once it gets downloaded, you have to open up the downloaded folder. Make a right click on this Anaconda file. Choose run as administrator. And very quickly, the setup wizard of the Anaconda 3 will be up. Now here you need to click on next. I agree. It will ask you you want to install just for this user account or for all the user. So I will go and use all the user option here and click on next. Here if you want to change the location of the installation of Anaconda then you can do that. I want to keep this on the C drive only so I will leave as it is and click on next. Next you will be getting this kind of page and here you have to check both these two options as well. Register Anaconda 3 at the system python 3.13 and clear the package cache upon the completion. So make sure you check all these options and click on install. Once completed, click on next. Click on next again. And then click on finish. Thank you for downloading. So now you can close it. So once you come to your desktop, you may get this kind of logo saying adding uh, featured channels. So you can leave it as it is. And the next time when you click on your Windows search, type Anaconda. So you will be getting two different options here. Anaconda prompt and Anaconda navigator. So Anaconda prompt is a command based interface and Anaconda navigator is a GUI based means graphical interface where you can uh, pick any option and select it. So basically we will go with the Anaconda prompt as of now. So I will click on it and this will bring up the Anaconda prompt. So in order to bring up the Jupyter notebook, I will type here Jupyter notebook and hit the enter key. So once the basic installation will be completed, it will automatically bring up the Jupyter like this. And here you can choose the location wherever you want to create the notebook. I will go with the desktop. So I will click on desktop. Next, in order to create a new notebook, you have to click on new here on the right and top. First, I will create a new folder. So I will choose new folder and rename it as new. Then I will open it up. And here again on the right and top, you have to click on new. This time I will choose Python 3 and this will be your final notebook where you can run your Python project. So in order to rename, you can click here on the top Untitle and name it whatever you want to. So I will name like test and click on rename. Now in order to test anything, so what I can do, I can type here print bracket inverted comma and then I can give the name like crown geek comma closed and bracket closed and then you need to press the control and the enter key and it will display my name over here so that indicate that it's working absolutely perfect and similarly you can create your own notebook here own project here of the python whatever you want to so that's all guys for today and hopefully this will surely help you if yes please hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye